let's uh, head on to other markets now, talking about the crypto space that we see the sentiment in the market. It's, it's, it's fair at 31 points, uh, back at the 30 uh, level. I've not seen this level for uh, a bit now. It's um, better than extreme fear, showing that traders are more uh, interested in putting some money in this market at this time. Let's look at the uh, market cap, $861.49 uh, billion. That's down 1.11%. We saw the market you know, react to uh, the Fed, their kind of hawkish tone, you know, going forward. And we saw, you know, Bitcoin lost that 18K level. Volume trading in total crypto space down 11.62%. And we see Bitcoin dominance at 39.61%. Uh, let's look at the price of Bitcoin uh, this morning. Okay, well, that's uh, not showing the price there. Let's look at Ethereum. We see Bitcoin that was trading at $17,300 and $730. Ethereum, $1,290. Did lose that 1-3 level, down 2.36% on the news of a uh, hawkish tone there from the uh, U.S. Fed yes, yesterday. Volume traded, it's $8.31 uh, billion. We've seen lower volume, you know, this uh, uh, mornings now. So let's look at the top alt by market cap. See, it's all red. All of them reacting. As long as Bitcoin sneezes in this market, the altcoins do always react. Let's bring in Solomon Amunde now, uh, digital market analyst. Hello, Solomon. Yeah, good morning, Ladi. Morning, Solomon. So we, we saw the, you know, the crypto market did react positively, you know, to that uh, CPI print. But come Fed Day, we're seeing the market, a Bitcoin price, losing that, you know, 18,000 uh, level. W was the tone really that hawkish? Yeah, so um, basically, it's always expected as a general rule of thumb that whenever the Fed increases their interest rates, we see the stock prices crashing. And most times when they reduce it, we see the opposite happening in the stock market. So it's, it's kind of mutual sometimes that the same thing happens in the crypto market. Although in the crypto market, we have some other extra determinants to uh, determine where the price would go, if it will be bullish or bearish. But as we saw yesterday, the impact made it short term bearish, but invariably we weren't really expecting Bitcoin to break above 20K this December, and we're still expecting it to range and accumulate heavily within 17K and around 19K dollars. All right, but, but Solomon, you know, it's been obviously an interesting year for, you know, risk assets. We've seen them, you know, go on that downward trend, you know, ever since uh, February, but now we're going into 2023. Is there any light at the end of the tunnel for risk assets like Bitcoin and, and equities? There's definitely light at the end of the tunnel. Why? It's because we've hit the rock bottom. Um, where we are at right now, we didn't expect to be there when we started this year. But this is like the worst case scenario. We've seen Bitcoin bottom at around 15K dollars and we've seen the stock market crash heavily. Um, 2022 has been like the worst financial year within the last about 12, 14 years or thereabout. So I would say 2023 would definitely be better than 2022. I mean, it can't get worse than it is already. If it gets worse than this, then it'll be crazy for the entire market. But we're expecting positivity in 2023. Now, we know obviously there's fear in most of these markets, and there's also some kind of expectation that there's still some downward, you know, pressure, you know, uh, price movement coming for, uh, for Bitcoin. You know, some still believe $12,000 is still, you know, possible. What do you think? Yeah, $12,000 seems like it's possible. But, but then again, if we look at what made Bitcoin even crash to about 15 k dollars, it, it was because of um, external forces and also the cases of um, FTX, the case of FTX that happened in the month of November. That was basically what made Bitcoin crash down to 15K. And we saw a quick recovery within two to three weeks. And at the same time, another event that made Bitcoin crash below that 3K, which was around May, June this year, it was because of the Terra Luna crash. So as you mean, we didn't have any of these two events that happened, which are like Black Swan events. We didn't have any of the Black Swan events. Bitcoin would have been able to maintain about above 29k dollars. So expecting 12k dollars, I think that would be too much of a stretch for most traders expecting 12k dollars, unless we have another extremely bad black sword event, for example, a, a, a hit on a major exchange that might force people to fool more and sell off their assets. That's the only thing that might crash us down to 12k. 
and right. even at that to be quite temporary. All right, we'll keep watching on, and obviously we expect 2023 to be a very interesting year uh, for the markets. Be watching out for that. Thank you so much, uh, Solomon Monday, Digital Market Analyst. Thank you.